Texas, we do recognize common law marriages, but is there such a thing as a common law divorce? Someone recently asked me, if you separate and stay apart for two years, are you automatically considered divorced? And the answer is no. My name is Laura Hurd, and I'm an attorney who has practiced family law in San Antonio, Texas since 1987. And there is a reason why people think that there is a common law divorce, but it's technically not true. There is a distinction. Let me explain. You see, if you are common law married, that means that both parties intended to be married. And if you are common law married, you can file a written acknowledgement with the county clerk saying that you agree that you are married. That's optional. You don't have to. You can go about your business and just continue on in your relationship indefinitely. But when you split up, if one party is claiming that you were never married and the other party says, yes, we both intended to be married at the time when we were together, then the burden of proof is on the party that's claiming that there was a marriage to prove what the other party intended. And you do that with the things that they said, the things that they told other people. You may be able to get somebody to testify that this person said that you were their spouse and that y'all were married. And maybe things like if you filed a joint tax return as a married couple, those things would show that the other side intended to be married, even though now they are denying it. And the reason that that's important is because of our community property laws. You see, if you were never married, then the things in your name are yours and the things in their name are theirs. But if you were married, the things that you acquired and earned during the marriage our community property, regardless of whose name is on the title. So if you bought a house, if you accumulated retirement funds, if you have a savings account, even if it's only in one person's name, if it was bought with money that was earned during the marriage, it is community property. And upon divorce, the judge can divide community property however the judge thinks it's. So it's in one person's interest to say, no, we were never married, and the other person's interest to say, yes, we were. And the judge has to decide based on the proof before them. Now, there is a statute in Texas that says if you live apart for two years, you don't do anything to establish that you were married married and now you are apart for over two years, then it's presumed that you were never married. See, if you were never married, there is no community property. And so that's different from being divorced. The only way you can get divorced is for a judge to declare you divorced, which means that you have explain to the judge what all your property and debts are and the judge has divided it however the judge thinks is fair and has signed a final order saying that you are divorced. So if you are apart more than two years and you never formally declared that there was a marriage but you think that you can prove that the other side intended for it to be a marriage when y'all were together, then you can still put on that evidence. It's what's called a rebuttable presumption. It's just, it makes it harder to prove because the judge is starting out with the presumption that you were never married and you have to prove that you were married based on proving what the other side intended.